Hey everybody, welcome to another Ghost Recon video. This will be about uh, Title 2.0 update, which includes my favorite and highly anticipated immersive mode. Let's get to it. All right, so this page is a breakdown of everything. I already put everything set up properly. Uh, gear level, I'm gonna run it through for you guys. Unique weapons, salvaging weapons, awesome, and blueprints in the loadout. Pause if you need to to read. And then, <coughs> excuse me, exploration mode, of course, uh, bivouacs. Okay, let's go down the list. You can now change the slot number. From one to two or two to one I've been waiting a long time for that bandages you can have unlimited many several few risk assessment could be none rare you'll still get hit and you'll still die but you won't get injured if you choose none Rare, often, always. Stamina consumption. I put regular because I run a fair amount and I don't want to get too exhausted. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to tickle up my throat. That's bothering me. Health regeneration. Okay. And none, of course. Only by stims. Partial, original, and maximum. You put partial, a little bit of challenge. Weapon, ammo loss on reload. This I love. It's so real. Because why would they automatically get recycled back into your inventory? It doesn't make sense. And for this, you can restrict your social club members from all plums from all players to squad players shop at bivouac I put ear one only because it doesn't make sense how you can access her shop at a campsite uh, however I find that the garage actually makes sense because in a way the campsite acts as a smoke screen or not smoke screen a smoke calling signal for deployment so I put that as all and then interface this is your HUD I have it all set up but I'll just go through it you can have all these they redid the menus which is nice so this I found that's new you can actually have a picture or just text that you unlocked that's nice and then all this stuff's the same this this is cool beside a mini map you can actually have a compass now I like that a lot well, the rest is basically the same Except they added a PvP widget visibility and drone counter. And then my chat, I don't really have anybody use text chat, so I just turn it off. Okay, I believe that's it. Yes, it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Then not guided, because I like full exploration I like to be just dived in it okay so that is the ghost experience now let's move on to what you get from deep state let's start on the main screen here you can see this there's a statistics page and a quick um, customized outfit location just spawns you over to 
there. Blueprints available for crafting, which you will lose your current weapon if it's not blueprinted. This pistol I found good, but not great. One, there's no paint option, which I like. And two, there's no laser sight ability option. And this gun gets really dirty from the simplest things. I slid down a hill that was probably a couple feet, and this gun was completely all green. It didn't make sense. I particularly don't like it. But you might. Uh, you can craft from this menu here, which is nice. Comes in really handy. And then... There is an assault rifle that is the SC-40K, which I don't have here. I'll have to spawn to uh, Irwan to check it out. I don't have enough money to purchase the blueprint, or else I'd give you a rundown of the weapon. Alright, now skills. There's two classes. There's Engineer, which you can deploy a defense drone. Or a diversion drone, if that's what you like. Sorry, I got noise in the background. Apologize for that. If you can hear it. <clears throat> Alright, kills and damage. Delta drones. You also have a bigger um, explosion radius. Now you also get a supply drone and more piercing to droids <laughs> droids drones it's not star wars there's no droids here okay and then echelon this is my favorite you get a sonar vision ability in a minute you'll be able to check it out that's what you get that's awesome um, close range kills and stealth while in kills one stealth And then you get a shock pistol, which is nice. It stuns just like, yeah, the preview there. Uh, stealth bonus in shadows, greater damage bonus with handguns, and handguns only can auto aim with a handgun during enemy visual detection. 150 meter max, available in PvP. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's cool. That's awesome. And then let's move on to the cosmetics. You got new hairstyles, which I don't prefer to like. Um, you got the man bun, because what game doesn't need a man bun now? And you got uh, crew cut. I believe that's new. Yeah, that's new. And then you have shaggy hair. It's not bad. And then you have what I like to call, not that one, this one, what I like to call the Leon haircut from Resident Evil. But I could be wrong. They added two new beards. They added light stubble. And then they added medium stubble. Well, you can tell by the differences is not that much so they could have done more in my opinion less since light isn't usually that thick <clears throat> they could have chose something in between none and light that would have been better but I like light because that's what I rock in real life uh, the face paints I believe there's some new face paints, but it could be wrong. A shark one, I believe, is a new one. Okay, and head protection. A black arrow. I was disappointed that you can change the color of the hat, but it still looks cool. And then you have third echelon goggles with that uh, combined earpiece. I have the other one. 
I'll have to remove that. And then <clears throat> from the Splinter Cell Deep State missions, you can unlock the fourth echelon outfit, which gives you really cool, really updated stuff. And then you got a vest here. Da -da, where is it? You got the silencer vest. That's nice. And then you have the third echelon vest. I like it, but I like it better without it, just because you see the, the shirt. And then we move on to the hands, which is third echelon gloves, which I am wearing, and they're awesome. <clears throat> but then you can get the fourth echelon gloves, which are pretty cool. And then alongside that, if you kill a titan, you can get the silencer outfit, which is part of the echelon pack. move on to the pants you got third echelon pants my opinion the best pants unfortunately you can't change the color in blacklist you were able to change the splinter cell colors from a variety of camos from uh, desert urban green winter and black uh, I would have hoped that they would have done this for this since you have those areas to explore but you don't so it'll have to be stealth missions or whatever you want. You got nine Paladin Nine Pants, which is a PMC from created by Victor Cost. I'll tell you more of that in the synopsis in the store. And then you have <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. My apologies. You got fourth echelon pants here, which are pretty cool. And then the silencer pants, which without the knee, knee pads are pretty sick. Uh, move on to the boots. You got third echelon boots. I love these boots. They're awesome. And then you got Palin and Nine boots, which don't mess with this because it's not the outfit. So, they're nice boots. They look more like. Uh, Excuse me, Under Armour sneakers. <laughs> and then you have fourth echelon boots. Which I don't like the bottom that much because they look like reverse cleats. But uh, that's all good. Okay, we'll move on to the shirt. You got famous third echelon shirt I'm wearing currently. Actually, I'll show you the back of that, too. That's cool. Oh, my bad. That's cool. And then you have... Fourth Echelon. Which I like slightly better. Because of the back. It looks so sick. And then you have the... Uh, silencer top which is cool it's just like a micro mesh with pads and then the mask you have Paladin 9 which is part of the PMC that's pretty cool and then you have 4th Echelon now this is my favorite look at that that's awesome and then you have the silencer mask, which my opinion, too many green circles on it. They could have got rid of the two vertical side ones on each side, so you just have two eyes instead of, you know, a lot more. <clears throat> and then you get a fourth echelon patch, which I already unlocked by the class. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you get the Splinter Cell Custom Karambit, or Splinter Cell, Sam's Custom Karambit, which actually, if you look carefully, the green circles are on it. I don't know if it lights up in the dark, I haven't tried it yet. 
And then this, they broke this up into episodes. So you got, you can actually have Walker for free and Hill also for free. That was nice that they added that because I really loved Hill's tattoos, but you can't get his tattoos on its own. So, if, you know, it's awesome. It's pretty cool. And you get the Terminator, oh, you get the Terminator stuff, and then you have the new ones. So you get Briggs, Anna. She's a separate purchase. She's not included in any of the packs. So you got to go find her in figures. I'll show you where. You got Young Sam, and then you got older current Sam. You can tell by the outfits that's more current because of the updated gear. And then you got Victor Cost. Looks a little strange, but it works. All right, and now we'll take you to the store give you a breakdown of the stuff you could buy. So the top, the pants, I showed you everything. You can buy that here. And then third echelon, you can also buy everything. Briggs is included in the third echelon bundle. I find it weird how Grimm's daughter isn't, but Grimm's daughter is located if you go here and go to the figures, she is the first one, but since I purchased it, she is down now at the bottom. So this is Grim. It's uh, the outfit from Conviction, I believe. So with this, you get the top pants mask oh and then you get the needlepoint fighter that's pretty cool and then you have the boots and the gloves and move on to the next one got brakes now it's weird with these tops these tops have the elbow pads but if you select the top as its own for creating your own outfit, the elbow pads are not included. See, I'll show you here. Elbow pad, no elbow pads. I find it weird how their outfits have the elbow pads, but yet I don't get the elbow pads in a custom outfit. I wish they fixed that to include them. <coughs> so you got the top, you got the vest. And then you got the fourth echelons, third echelons, pardon. And you got the pants. You got the sonar goggles, which I'm currently wearing. The reason why they sit higher up on me. Is because I'm wearing a mask. And then you got the third echelon gloves I'm currently wearing, and then the shoes. Which they should have named boots, because they're actually boots, but whatever. And then you got this new vehicle. Broken down in camos to fit your season, your area. A turret pops out in the back, which is pretty cool. And I think that's about wraps it up oh yes right the weapon okay let's oh you also get a barrel option not on all of them but on most I believe on most it shortens the barrel so it doesn't look all you know empty at the front and I also believe you get the choice of putting this scope on most of your weapons now. So now you can actually have that scope, which I find a lot of people love. Because who doesn't love a four, four time, uh, ACOG scope? Actually, let's try that. Now 
Nice. Very nice. Okay. I'm, uh, yeah. I like it how much I'm actually going to rock it. Okay. Now we'll go to ear one so I can show you the Splinter Cell 40K. See this coming when Skell first showed up? <laughs> there he is. I'm glad you're here. The Schultz will be happy too. Drones. Drone. Hey, Nomad. I got something you might find interesting. Uh, Holt is the start of the Splinter Cell missions. Yeah, I've got Maria all the best shop. stuff. Uh, you got two new suppressors. Which are pretty cool. Obviously I haven't bought them just because there's... It's just cosmetic with the suppressors. And there's nothing else new there. Switch over to the weapon blueprints. And here you have new weapons. So that Whisper Pistol, this one, I believe. Yeah, because that's the old Splinter Cell Pistol. Actually, I'm going to buy that. And then now I'm even further from purchasing it, so I won't be able to show you guys. But stay tuned for more videos, because I will use this weapon. So I'll give you a breakdown once I purchase it. All right, and I'm going to redo the mission so I can, this you can switch from episodes, so now you have the checkmate, but I'm going to reset that. Stay tuned, I'm going to do some deep state missions. I believe there's eight missions, so look forward to an eight-part Deep State series. Are you ready for this fight? Okay, so first thing you have to do is go... Yeah, I'll walk you through the actual missions. There's no point to talk about now. Alright, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in Deep State.